Well, Steve, the Memphis Police Department says that Tyree Nichols was originally pulled over for reckless driving. This bill here in the state of Washington would only deal with non-moving violations, but supporters said today that the Nichols incident highlights the need for this kind of a law. Now, troopers say pulling drivers over for non-moving violations makes our roads safer and can result in drunk driving arrests and drug busts. But the bill sponsors say going after those violations takes the focus away from more dangerous drivers. And this law would prevent officers from pulling someone over with broken headlights or taillights, expired tabs, or stopping a car linked to a suspended license. Tyree Nichols' recent death reminded the lawmaker behind this proposal of the time he was beaten by police after he says he was stopped as a pedestrian for no reason. I really encourage each of you to watch the murder of Tyree. Like this gruesome video hits home in a different way for each person. For me, it reminds me of the helplessness of not being able to protect yourself when you don't know where the next blow is gonna come from. Although defective equipment is not a core goal of WSP, it is an effective safety tool we often use as an educational opportunity that builds trust with our public when we interact and help motorists to ensure that a little thing doesn't become a bigger thing. The ACLU is backing this bill saying that drivers uh, from communities of color are more impacted by these kinds of stops. There is a portion of the bill that law enforcement supports and that would create a grant program to help low income drivers pay off any non-moving related incidents or violations or tra traffic tickets. Live in Olympia, Drew Mickelson, King 5 News.